I suppose it's been about a month now since I was watching some YouTube videos on how to make uh, your own uh, black powder for shooting, especially now that uh, some of the black powder is really tough to get. I always wanted to do some of this since I've been a kid here, and I'm going to do a short uh, short version video on what I've been up to and, and, and how it's been working out for me. Well, quite a few of the things that I'm using here in making the black powder I've already had, like the, the scale here. Had that along with some screens and things. Lucky enough, I have a 20 ton hydraulic press that I use for making uh, black powder pucks. That part, if I'm going to make the pucks, I had to purchase uh, some pipe, pipe here and so also some aluminum. I think it's inch and three quarter. And I machined a piston there to fit inside this for making the black powder pucks. Other than that, I purchased the grinder here, um, kind of a grain grinder that works. Works pretty decently after the recommendations of one of the one of the fellows on YouTube stole this out of my wife's kitchen. You know, old things like this. I think this was out of a refrigerator, another screen over there. And of course we did have to purchase the the tumbler up here. So that plus the materials, you know, it's not real cheap, um, not real expensive, but I can say it's real dirty as far as when you get to making the actual charcoal, especially. And the charcoal is what gives us the the, the black um blackness as far as the sulfur, sulfur goes, potassium, uh, nitrate, those things aren't going to, um, you know, make too bad a mess, but the other ones do. I did purchase also a coffee grinder here, and I've been using that on the potassium nitrate to get the crystals down to little smaller, smaller particles. So, that said, then, what I'm going to try to do here is a short, uh, short version of the kind of, um, uh, results I've been getting, what I've been shooting and stuff in my 1858 uh, black powder gun. Now this is the willow powder that I've been making. I say willow because that's the charcoal was made from the uh, willow trees. And one of the first things I found out about it is that the density is a lot less with the homemade black powder, at least the way I've been making it. I'd like to be able to kick that up some, but maybe that's for a future deal. So if I want to get, let's say, 14 grains, which is what this um, one point zero cc would give me if I was using GOX. If I want to use 14 grains of the willow powder, I'm going to have to use a 1.6 cc dipper. So quite a bit of difference as far as the density of the powder that I've been shooting goes. So we'll wander into our shooting shed and take a look at some targets that I shot with that 14 grains of the willow powder and also the 14 grains of the GOX. I started with 14 grains of Go X, this actually says 14.5, but it's close to 14. This is shot on 624 of this year and shot in, shooting with a, uh, a fall chamber. These are the speeds that we got here an average of 776 with the Go X. Group size, you know, pretty decent, 21 yards. Standard, standard deviation of around 15, so really good as far as that part goes. And switching over to our uh, do it yourself willow powder, I have 12 shots here. Actually, the last 10 here were shot with the uh, 1.6 cc dipper again 14 14 and a half grains very close to the goax over here want to keep those as close as we could these first we're using a 2.2 cc dipper so we can disregard those but then we're talking about 865 on down to these for our for our next 10 shots an average of 769 which compares pretty decent with that 776 over here of the of the goax uh, standard deviation Quite a lot higher. We were 40 with that. So these are the first uh, targets we used when we were using the 14.5 grains. And I'll show a couple that I used when I bumped it up to around 18 grains. So here's a target I shot on the 27th, and this was with the willow powder, 18 grains. Uh, these chambers were clean, so they hadn't been been fouled up yet. And three shots. There's our average of, of uh, 676. You know, which is lower, but then they're gonna they're gonna get a higher when we when we have our fall chambers that we we're gonna shoot out of. And I had a really nice group here, so I just kind of kept that target, didn't put any more rounds into it, wanted to hang on to this one. Well, here's our 18 grain targets. The first one, the uh, three F X, and the first three shots here were shot from a a clean clean uh, cylinder, so these chambers were not fouled up. Once the chambers got fouled up, our speeds increased here. So we have six shots with an average. Uh, speed here of 848, standard deviation of right around 8, which is really good. Group over here, by the way, looks pretty decent too for the GOX, that's 21 yards. 
Sound like thunder. Probably cannon fire. Clean the barrel. I wanted to do that because I wasn't sure if these speeds were due to a fall barrel or the or the uh, chambers, but turns out the chambers are what's causing that. Clean the barrel. And we got these speeds over here, an average of 842 with 8.3 as a standard deviation. Again, uh, pretty decent. Over here on the, on the willow powder, the do-it-yourself stuff, we actually had uh, a 2.2 cc because we had some of the powder that was even less dense than, uh, than the stuff that had came out of the pucks. This had been screened, and we had about 17 grains. Okay, first, um, first shot was up here, of our six. We only fired six out of these. And we had uh, speeds like this, running down here an average of 848. And that compared, you know, real well, actually identical to this one over here. Even though we're maybe using a little less, a little less powder, but this is very um, uh, powdery, I'll say. It doesn't have the uh, structure of the, of the Go-X as far as the sharpness of the crystals go. More of a powder. And we had a standard deviation of around 31.6. So a lot more variation as far as the speeds here go, but uh, from shooting the target, I see this is our first shot at the 835, and we had five more shots here within about an inch, inch and a half um, spread. So this is kind of the short version of what we're what we're doing here, and we're uh, planning to run some more tests on more of the powder, but like I say, I've been just doing this for two, three weeks now, and it takes time to dry this stuff and other things. So we get some more data. We will um, continue this and, and hopefully present that.